Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please, it would be very kind if you would like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell thing. That would be awesome. And as usual tonight, we are surprising ourselves with trailers that the other person has not yet seen and filming our typically stupid reactions to those. And tonight, it's my turn to be surprised. Apparently you found a few gems that I don't yet know about and are ready mm -hmm. to surprise me. So what have you got for me? As usual, it's very on brand for me, cheesy nonsense. Yes, I like cheesy nonsense. So this is a movie that I think has been a long time coming. I mean, we may even have reacted to one of the very early trailers for it. But it's coming out very soon in July. Wow, okay. Now this is a movie, not to spoil what's coming up, but we are big Disney fans the parks and the movies and the TV shows and the extended universe and everything. This is a movie based on one of my favorite Disney rides. Mm. It looks utterly ridiculous, but it does have the rock in it. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's a big plus. Okay, well, we are going to go ahead now and check out the trailer. If you want to see what it is and whether my mind is blown or I'm mad about it, then stick around until the end. But for now, let's go! Let's go. There they are! Frank, follow me! Stop her! Ah! Oh, God, sorry, Frank. Uh -oh. Sorry, strong form. Punch her back. My name is Dr. Lily Houghton. My brother and I are looking for passage up river. What's out there in the jungle? It's not a fun vacation. Well, I'm not here for a vacation. Legend has it that there is a tree that possesses unparalleled healing power. It will change medicine forever. And you need someone to help you find it. Here we go. <laughs> Sometimes it just needs a bit of a... Nobody touches my engine but me. What did I just... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We're gonna do this together. Haven't you been dreaming about adventure? She was always chasing after some far-fetched idea. Ooh, cool. There's no such thing as curses. Everything that you see <laughs> wants to kill you. And can. Do you want to turn back? No, nope, just getting started. <laughs> Torpedo. Oh my. So we've just seen the trailer, the newest trailer, and it came out a couple days ago for Disney's The Jungle Cruise. What did you think? Well, you know, the first trailer was quite compelling. Um, the second trailer, there's some things I really, really like about it, and some things I'm a little bit concerned about <laughs> that may may negatively impact the finished product. Um, I, I definitely actually like the, the chemistry between the, the heroes in it. I like this whole concept, actually, of taking a really cheesy ride that's been around in Disney forever and making a fun movie out of it, and then being in that crappy Jungle Cruise boat the whole time, which, like, anyone who's been to Disney has waited an hour and then been in that boat, and it's... Especially if you go with me, I'm gonna make you. Yeah, and it slowly goes around and they're like and then there are elephants maybe there is a poacher around the corner oh no and then you're back at the dock again and you're like i waited an hour for that so i like it that they've taken this lame ride and made you know what looks like a fun action movie out of it so yeah there was definitely a lot to like i like there were these kind of big environmental puzzles these kind of tomb raider-esque puzzles and they were doing something under the water and there were things turning around like that looked pretty cool to me very zelda the only things i was a little bit concerned about were 
really crappy CGI. And if it looks like crappy CGI in the trailer, what's it going to look like in the movie? I mean, they've only got a month left to fix it. And yeah, you know, the, the bad CGI villain kind of reminded me of terrible CGI villains in certain DC comics movies. But even more, kind of that, that last um, Pirates of the Caribbean movie Ooh, with yeah. that guy with the wavy underwater hair, that Jackie the Sparrow. And it looked like a really similar kind of a vibe. Some conquistador type dude who seemed to be just, I don't know. I, all, all I could see was bad CGI on that guy. And a gooey and made of bugs. Yeah, there was also that leopard that looked really fake yeah. as well. It looked like leftover footage from the Lion King movie that they just were like, oh, I don't know, let's use this. So, yeah, I, I could see it being a fun romp. I could absolutely see it being fun for the family. And I could see Dwayne Johnson lifting it way above where it could otherwise have been. I mean, people say he's the hardest working actor in Hollywood, and I 100% believe it. Like, he's, he's made movies fun that otherwise I think would have been massive flops. So, yeah, I've got a lot of faith in him. I am feeling like this is probably going to be like a six out, a six and a half out of ten on IMDb. It's going to be the kind of thing that you see in a few years, and you're like, oh yeah, I remember that. I think we saw it at the cinema, didn't we? I guess. I think I could see this being one that we watch on a Friday with a pizza. Yeah, exactly. It might be that kind of a movie. What, what about you? What did you think of it? I thought it was really fun. I am notoriously very easily pleased, though, so I'm going to like it. I do agree that I feel like. Dwayne Johnson does a lot of heavy lifting in real life. Literally. And also um, with movies like this. We did really enjoy all the Jumanji movies, but yeah. he did a heck of a lot of heavy lifting there as well. I even enjoyed that San Andreas disaster movie, which was a pretty bad movie. Even that one where he, that skyscraper where he had one leg, like that was a bad movie. And he made it an average movie. Mm. And you know, that was just all the only reason that movie got any views was just Dwayne Johnson. His the, charisma can carry a movie. Yes. So, but yeah, you would, is it the kind of thing that you think you would put top of your list in July? Not top of my list. I do want to see it, but not necessarily at the cinema unless it happens to come out on a weekend that nothing else is on. So yeah. If we were going to go to the cinema, I would probably rather see something else. But if this was on, um, I, I would make the trip to go see it. And I, I do hope they can, one of my favorite things about the Jungle Cruise ride is how much when you get the host that takes you on the Jungle Cruise is all those stupid jokes they put in as you <laughs> yes. go around. And I really hope they keep those in because I feel like that has to be the most beloved thing about that ride. It's just so funny when they're kind of acknowledging how cheesy it is. And you know it's scripted, but it's still really funny. Yes, I agree. Well, we hope you are enjoying whatever Jungle Cruise life is taking you on right now. But and don't go on a real cruise, they're dangerous. Yeah, and if there's an elephant on your left, we really hope it doesn't squirt you with water. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I am, yeah, I'm also similarly excited, but I could see July coming around. We're going to be so excited for Black Widow. We're going to rush and see that on opening night. Then we're going to go back the next week and be like, we could see Jungle Cruise, but maybe we'll just see Black Widow again. Oh, and yeah, then, that's then, what we're yeah. Do. And then we'll see Black Widow a second time, and then maybe after that, Jungle Cruise might just about sneak in and take our money. But uh, that's good enough. I mean, hopefully it'll be a fun set. Well, anyway, folks, that is all we got time for you. That's what we think of the new Jungle Cruise trailer. But uh, we hope you're having a great time, and we will see you next time, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, passengers. Bye. Shut up and sit down.